Hi, welcome back to Pink Oratero. My name is Z. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. So as I always say, thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. So if you're interested in following me on Insta Instagram, you can. You can follow me on um, <laughs> at Pink Oratero. Um, also, currently I'm having an email reading special, which is $20 for six questions. I'll leave like something down here um, in the corner at the bottom of the video. To let you guys know, it's like $20, $20 for six questions that you may need insight or clarity on. And you can actually book a reading now on my website, which is www.pinkoratero.com. So yeah, um, the booking process is really easy. Once you submit your info on the book a reading page, I will email you back. So yeah, let's see what comes up for, what's this, Taurus for July 2020. Give me one for Taurus. What message do you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 2020. Give me one card for Taurus for July 2020. Give me one card for Taurus. I don't know why I want to say Aquarius. Somebody could be dealing with the Aquarius. But it's probably because I just did the Aquarius reading. So if I say Aquarius, I'm so sorry. Give me one card for Taurus, Summer Rising, and Venus. Ooh, okay. We got to take a step back. So take a step back. And it says, thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. And then we got count your blessings at the bottom of the deck. So it says, thank you, universe and angels for the blessings in my life. So for some of you guys, Taurus, um, and then we have leap of faith. That's below count your blessings here. And it says, I am ready to take a leap. Angels, thank you for doing it with me. For some of you guys, you could have um, needed to take a step back from a situation. This could this this could have been um, involving a person. It's like somebody is not. Um, for some of you guys, it's like you're not seeing what's not serving you. Let's see. Clarify, take a step back. Somebody's dealing with the Aquarius. Um, <laughs> okay. Take a clarify, take a step back. Okay, we got hope that came out. So we got hope and it says, stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. I can't really quite catch exactly what's going on, Taurus, but just give me a little minute, please. <laughs> Clarify, take a step back. Okay. Something could be happening for you guys within the next few weeks. So something could definitely be um, happening for somebody here um, in July. But we got don't stop. So for some of you guys... Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with like some negative, um, somebody could have been like in a negative situation here. It could have been involving a person because it's almost like maybe, um, like for some of you guys, you could have not been like in a good mental space 
And this could have been because of anything. But it's like whatever it was, it was not serving you. It wasn't of your highest good. So whether it be like a person, a job, I don't know what it is. But it's like you're going to be counting your blessings here. But it's like you you could be needing to take a leap of faith. Um, but with the count your blessings, like somebody, cause, um, on this card right here, it says gratitude. Like she's, um, writing down what she's grateful for. So let's see. Also, too, for some of you guys, it's like maybe um, with this don't stop, it's like you could be working towards a goal, but then it's like it's some things possibly around you or people, I don't know, that's kind of like holding you back. Clarify, take a step back. Yeah, wow. Wow. We got the devil card, the first card out. Somebody needs to take a step back from, I don't know, I feel like it's like toxic, whatever it is, it's like low vibrational. Because like whatever, it could be fear as well. But it's like very negative because what the hope card says, stay positive. For some of you guys, you could just be, be not like really in a positive um, or healthy um, mental space here. And I feel like for some of you guys, you could be confused here on what's really not serving you. But don't let fear hold you back. Like, don't stop for whatever this is for you. Because it says, um, with this hope card, it says the worst is behind you. Like, some of you guys are going to be um, expressing gratitude. You're going to be counting your blessings. But it's like you're needing to take a step back or get rid of some things. Or people that's not serving you. Like, anything that's, like, low vibrational. Negative. This could be um, a toxic um, partnership as well. Clarify, take a step back. Yeah, we got um, the two of swords. Wow. And then we got your energy too. Taurus at the bottom of the deck with the hair font. So with this two of swords right here, see, for some of y'all, you need to like listen to your intuition about cutting some things out. Like, what's really not serving you? Hmm. Clear if I take a step back for Taurus. So we got the page of pentacles that came out. So the Page of Pentacles, um, see, somebody has like a blessing. The way I'm seeing it is like somebody is making a decision. I'm about to show y'all. Like somebody's going to have to make a tough decision here or like a hard decision about accepting some type of offer here. That's like really a blessing. And then it's like, um, with the devil card, it's like they're having, it's like somebody's at a stalemate here. They don't know what to do. If they should either, um, take an offer or make an offer or stay like in fear or, um, uh, feeling like you're like bound to something here. So it could be like a person. But we got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 
So whatever this is, it's like a blessing to somebody here. Like somebody's going to be expressing gratitude for it. But it's like you got to get rid of whatever this devil card is for somebody here. And it could be just fear. Clarify, take a step back. Yeah, we got the high priestess that came out. So Taurus, for some of y'all, you're going you're gonna to have to um, listen to your intuition here about what's not serving you. Like what's good for you and what's not good for you. Like what's holding you back? Because like when I keep seeing that, take a step back. It's almost like something could be holding you back from, um, this could be like a new opportunity, like a new beginning of some, of some sort, but it's tangible. Just clarify, take a step back. Okay, we got justice that came out. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. Because with the Two of Swords and a Justice card, but I feel like um, for some of you guys, it's like in order for you to make a, the right decision here. Like listen to your intuition about whatever this is, because it's like a new beginning for somebody here. But it's like you're needing to take a leap of faith. Because the worst is behind you. So it's like you shouldn't stop. Don't let fear stop you. if I take a step back oh wow we got the seven of pentacles that came out so for some of you guys you're you're um I feel like somebody's definitely contemplating here about some type of offer and it's like it's a lot of conflict with the five of wands for some of you guys i feel like you could be dealing with some people here that's kind of like holding you back from your um from your blessings what's the devil okay so we got the King of Cups that came out. Somebody could be dealing with the um a water sign here. It doesn't have to be. But whatever somebody needs to take a step back from or get rid of, because it's almost like somebody needs to get rid of it. It's like they really love it. So this is why. It's kind of hard for somebody here to um, let it go. What's the two of, the two of swords? Okay, so we got the empress. So I do feel like um, I feel like this is more so your energy, Taurus with this empress card it's like you're very abundant whoever this reading is for and if it's resident resonating with you it's like you're very abundant or creative um it's like you have a lot going on for yourself with this empress card and it's like whatever this is that's kind of like you feel like you're bound to whatever it is it's like it's not serving you but it's like you really love it and it's like you're needing to take action. Somebody needs to take action towards walking away from this situation. And with this Eight of Cups, this is somebody walking away from something that they have an emotional attachment to. What's the Page of Pentacles? Yeah, there's some, like, somebody's having some mental conflict here about, um, 
with this five of swords about some type of offer. And then we got the two of pentacles. It's like somebody's going back and forth on whether or not they want to take it. But let's like trust your intuition about making this decision here. I feel like it's going to take some time too in order for somebody to like to really um, see and figure out what's not serving them. What's the high priestess? Wow, the Seven of Swords. For some of you guys, this King of Cups could be um, whoever they are, they're toxic. Like, they're not good for whoever this is. They're needing to get, to take a step back from this person. We got the Seven of Swords that came out. For some of you guys, it's like you're lying to yourself here. Like, somebody's intuition is telling them that whatever this is is not good for them and then we got the two of the two of wands so it's like you're needing to make a decision here Taurus I feel like somebody needs to um start thinking about their future here because we got um the king of pentacles that's below this two of wands so this is definitely um Taurus energy or somebody could be dealing with another earth sign but it's like you have to make the right decision what's justice And also, so it's like, be honest with yourself, too, because this Seven of Swords next to the Justice card here, it's like, you know what's right. Your intuition is telling you what's right. So don't let a fear or, like, another person stop you. What's Justice? <laughs> wow. Wow. Somebody got caught doing something here. Because the King of Cups is not looking too good. It could have been another Earth sign. It could have been a Capricorn or a water sign. I feel like it could have been a Pisces for somebody. Somebody got caught doing something here. I feel like you, um, Taurus, something happened here where <sighs> it's like instead of you acting crazy about the situation, it's like take a step back. Like you don't have to run after this because it's not serving you any good with the Seven of Swords. It's like I feel like Taurus is the, um, the Knight of Swords. It's like you want to go after this person. Like, you want to go to war with this person, but you don't even have to. What's the seven of, um, the seven of pentacles? Okay, I do feel like somebody's going to take action here towards moving on from this. But it's like somebody's needing to like really um, reevaluate and kind of like look into this offer here. But I see somebody like moving on because it's like whoever you were dealing with, it's like they were toxic or it's like a lot of conflict involved. So it's like somebody's needing to like leave that alone here. Now, I also see where whoever you were dealing with, um, I feel like somebody could have been in a relationship here where it's like somebody had other options. And I do feel like something happened here where it's like that person got found out. Like somebody was kind of like blind to it, but then it came out about whoever it was. So we got Don't Stop right here. I'm going to pull... One more. I can't find my other cards. Okay. Clarify. Take a step back. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm. Woman holding a coin. Somebody could be dealing with an earth sign here. Another earth sign, but I feel like this is you. Um, Taurus with this woman holding a coin. It's like earth energy. So yeah, so you're definitely the one who's needing to take a step back. But I feel like once you take a step back here, um, it's like you're going to be counting your blessings. Because I see like a new beginning happening for somebody because they're moving away from whatever this is that's no longer serving them but it's like just stay positive like you don't have to lash out you don't have to chase after or keep chasing after whatever this is and I feel like somebody could be um having anxiety too and this is where um you know hope and faith kick in too Clarify, take a step back. For some of y'all, you could be needing to take a break here from relationships. We got man holding a heart and rest and rejuvenate. Like somebody's going to need a vacation after, after this. Clarify, take a step back. So the thinking woman. So for some of you guys, it's like you're thinking about, somebody could have actually been thinking about taking a step back or like leaving someone alone here. But I do feel like at the end of the day, like somebody's going to take action here. And we got the king of wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going to take action here towards doing what's right <clears throat> and this is definitely telling you like don't stop don't let fear and anxiety stop you from um from your blessings or like your new beginning here because i feel like it could be like a situation where it's like you really love somebody here or really care about them but this man holding heart So I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with somebody. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.